bike or an elliptical that's not powering on. What's up, super dupers? My name's Joe from Treadmill Heroes Fitness Repair, and here's the very first thing you should check before you go racing out ordering a brand new console or trying to track down a used one. This right here, your power supply. These things are actually pretty fragile and they get, dro they get dropped on the floor, they can get bonked with a vacuum, they can get lost and you might even have the wrong one. So before you go plugging in a random power pack you found in your everything drawer at home, make sure you check with either Treadmill Heroes or the Fitness Graveyard, you can easily find us online, or you can even call the manufacturer of your product itself or check the manual. Make sure you're plugging in the right power supply. In other words, on every power supply, somewhere listed on it, it'll say output, and then it'll tell you how many volts DC. You wanna make sure you're not putting a 12 volt DC output into a, a unit that's only designed to handle five or six volts or nine volts, because you can cause damage to the electronics. But once you've verified that this power supply is the correct one for the machine, then we need to test it to make sure it's still good. So, in this case, you unplug the power supply from the machine. You will need a multimeter, so if you don't have one, go talk to your old neighbor. I'm sure he's got one sitting around. You plug this in. First, obviously, we want to make sure you've got a good outlet. You've got a good power supply coming out of the wall. Test it with a fan or a vacuum to make sure you got juice coming out of your extension cord or directly out of the wall. Then you take your multimeter and you put it onto DC volts. That's the little straight line with the dots underneath of it. And in this case, you've got this little barrel end on here. So you can put your one meter lead right into the hole. This does not matter if you put the black one in the hole or the red one in the hole. It'll simply give you a negative reading or a positive reading, but it will give you a voltage reading. So from here, then I go to test. One pin in the hole, one pin on the side. Zero volts DC. So, in other words, somewhere along the lines, this power supply went bad. So, you take this guy, toss him off to the side, you order yourself a new power supply. These you can get from your friends at the Fitness Graveyard. Simple Google search will help you find those guys. And we do the same test. One lead in the hole, and then the other one on the side. And wouldn't you know it, 9.2 volts DC. So then we know we've got the uh, power supply that works. Plug it right in. Voila, power up to the console. All is good. So that right there, this $20 power supply saved us hundreds of dollars on a console that you would have got and the problem wouldn't have been resolved anyway. So check your power supply before you go buying other major components. And remember, don't just be super, be super duper.